This is a first gen Ultimate Ears Wonder Boom battery replacement. The first thing you're going to do is uh, get a spudger under here and take that top piece off. You'll just have to pry it a little bit and that top piece will come loose. Once you pry the top off, you're going to go ahead and find the hidden screws along the edge here. If you run your finger in, you can find there's an indent along each one of these where there'll be a little hidden screw in there. You're going to pull up this tape on the edge. You're going to pull it back and reveal the hole for the screws. Once you have the tape peeled back, you can see all four screws along those edges. You're going to take those off, which will then allow you to get to this uh, top cover. You might want to, before that, we'll take off this outer sleeve. So if you just pull up on this outer sleeve here, it'll come out of this uh, as one stack. Now it might take you some force, but if you push along these edges here, pushing downwards, this is on rails, and you can pull this sleeve up and out. So you pull this up and out, and now we're dealing with just this stack here. You can set this aside, and we'll work on this guy here. So we're going to attack these four screws there. So once you get that last screw out, you're going to be able to separate this top piece that has the uh, printed circuit board on it. Uh, you probably first want to then attack these speakers on the side and then clip. There's a zip tie inside there. Clip that zip tie. When you have those four screws out of the speaker, you'll likely have to grab a spudger and you'll have to come in under the speaker edge to uh, remove some of that gasket tape material and get the speaker completely out. Once you have that speaker out, you can see that zip tie in there. We're going to go ahead and clip that zip tie off. And once we have that zip tie clipped, we're going to go ahead and pull that completely out. Personally, I like to take my screws that I know are not going to be in my way and uh, secure them slightly into the slots where they belong. That way you don't have to uh, worry about them getting lost or putting them on a magnetic tray and having them somehow get rolling around or something so uh, the next thing you're going to do this top board has a bunch of connectors on it one of those is going to be your battery i'm going to go ahead and remove every one of those connectors now sometimes they put a little bit of uh glue or some sort of adhesive between see that red stuff there that's adhesive, so you might need to scrape that off before you can actually pull those connectors. Remember, there's also sometimes a little tab there that you'll need to uh, push down on and release in order to get that connector off um, for some of them. So we're going to go ahead and pull all the four connectors off of this board and remove this top part and set it aside. Once you have this cap pulled off, you can look down there and see you have a bunch of screws that are holding on your bottom cap. You want to get those screws off, that'll allow you to get to your battery. Your battery cable is this cable right here, right? So it's not very uh, hard to do anything with this right now. You could theoretically try and pull that battery out without taking that bottom plate out by just uh, spudgering it. Uh, but it might be easier for you to take 
those screws out down there and down there and down there down there and there's two down here you take those out and then you can definitely easily remove that battery put the battery back on put those screws back in connect your wires back here back up to this guy okay once you have that done you align it with your holes there your screw holes you can put that back on you can put your speakers back in over here you can then take your sleeve here slide that back on and then put your top plate back on and you're working I would suggest maybe when you have this top cover back on you manually push these buttons after you connect everything back up to make sure it's working probably do that before you put these speakers back in then once you have the speakers back in go ahead and test it one more time without that top cover plate on that way you're not wasting time putting this cover plate on if it doesn't work if it does work keep going get your top cover plate back on you're done with your battery replacement